Can I get a whoa? Hello. Hello and welcome to another Gamecast and today we are in beautiful Chora on this scorching red hot day here and we're actually going to be following the Yankee Doodle Dandies today and we may actually have a look at the other side as well so we're going to kick off straight away this is the beginning of the game as you can see these guys are going straight out in reversing maneuver very tactical here with the rip guys coming out with the armored BTR and a logistics truck and as you can see the rest of the infantry up there Russians starting there so they're gonna be going straight up to the small mosque and the orchard and we're gonna follow these two vehicles up here see where they go and see what they get up to and then we'll flick across and we'll actually have a look at is it the insurgents or the Russians today it's we're playing against the Russians so the Russians are in red the Rusky Reds let's get a little bit of cinematic effects on here make it a little bit more interesting logistics truck there you can actually get a few members of infantry in this truck and as I've mentioned in my previous videos if you get the vehicle stuck you can actually press your left shift not only does that accelerate on the flats and straights but it also puts it when you're in slow mode into almost a 4x4 mode which helps you get out of trouble let's just let the drop one guy off here and we're going to follow this up Looks like we've got a couple of guys who have actually fallen out of the truck, and we've got his <laughs> half, so he's just run him over. Yeah, a couple of guys run over here. I'm not sure why they're, whoops, wrong key, why they've dropped them out. As you can see, we've still got a lot of guys over at the main spawn who haven't actually got out onto the fielders yet. A few of our friends, the Ruskies, are already moving up to this central compound here. So it looks like the Russians are actually moved directly in between here. All these coordinates and we're going to follow up. The logistics truck is there. The infantry are coming out to... I think they're going to be... What are these guys? Have we got a squad leader here? Let's just come down and have a look. No squad leader here. So we've got AT. We've got a rifleman. And we have actually got a squad leader here. My apologies. So let's just have a look up here. Ruskies seem to be holding over towards the hemp farm. So the action really is going to kick off anytime soon between the East Poppy Farm and the Radio Tower. So that's probably why the squad leader here is going to probably get a fob down at some point around here and start to get a few emplacements up. Still got a lot of guys over back there towards the small orchard. So as soon as they've capped, it means these guys below us are already in a perfect position to forward cap this base here. Let's just move over here. You can see. Looks like the BTR has been... Is it taken out? It's taken some... Yes, the BTR is gone. That's a lot of points to be losing at this stage early in the game. And as we move up down here... Let's have a look at what the Ruskies are actually doing up here. The United States, have, they've captured the actual mosque. Now, if you see these actual grids, this is the actual cap areas that you can be in. So it gives you an idea of how wide they are. And let's just have a look at the Ruskies here. Ruskies, it looks like they're actually starting to build up some mortars here. Now, mortars, we know, they have about a 1,500 meter range. So if we bring the map up here and zoom that in... Let's have a look, 3-6, they are well within distance here to start putting shells down on the actual radio tower. Not a bad tactic, they've actually got them in this compound, so if they can actually block off all the entrances around here, which is what they are probably going to be doing, what is this guy doing here? He's probably going to be putting up some sandbags here, or, an, or could be some Hescos, he's going to block these entrances off so the infantry can't actually get in. Of course, squad leaders need to be aware of the amount of ammo that these guys are actually using on here. If I remember off the top of my head, it's 90 per mortar. Squad leaders don't have an infinite amount without getting the logistics truck back in for resupply. It looks like, are we going to be getting the first mortar going out into the game? Quite possibly. We've got Rip Chaos Theory here. Lining up the mortars, ready to smash the Yanks over towards the radio tower. I think he's going to be aiming for the radio tower at this position. Let's have a look. 
Where is he pointing at? He's actually pointing directly at the radio tower, which is not actually that far. 300 meters, well within the range of the mortars. I don't think he's actually fired any rounds off as yet. Or if he has, I haven't actually heard the mortar go into the tube there. We shall move up and have a look. So it looks like the Russians are coming in now on the radio tower on this right-hand side, this right-hand flank. Now, some not bad distance here between the infantry. A lot of times you'll see that the infantry actually group together and one grenade will take you out. So this is not bad coverage at all. A few bits of AT coming out. And what have they got over here? They've actually got a BTR way back to actually support the infantry as they move up. Not a bad tactic at all. You really don't want the BTRs and the vehicles to be up in the action. Keep them from a distance. That's what they're there for. To help the infantry move up. And they are there to protect it. But of course, here on Chora, if we come down to the actual level here, there's lots of walls on this level. It can be quite hard to get good lines of sight. I know the um, snipers do really do struggle on this level. So... It's going to be a matter of literally getting in there, getting dirty, and getting on with the fighting. And as we move further up, we've got a couple of guys down here on the Ruskies who are already down. The odd little, little firefight going down there, and the Americans, Rick, Rick with his M4, taking that guy, oh, almost taken out by his own side there. I think that was a 2 or 3 round. And it looks like down here... The Americans are holding it off, although we have actually got a Russian here moving up at the bottom on the outside of this compound. Really interesting to be able to use the admin camera here. Shooting through a gap in these Heskos. Nice, nice, nice. And they have actually got no idea there's a guy below them. Of course, if they did know he was there, all they would have to do, uh, as you can see, I think he's got a little sniff of it, would be to just chuck a grenade over that wall. And that would take him out instantly. Still on this wall. I'm sure the Americans know he is there because somebody on the top floor was actually looking at him. And we can hear the mortars going off, so if we come out a little bit here, we're probably going to see some mortar shells start to land here in this compound for the Americans. And that, of course, changes everything. As soon as you hear that first whoosh, you need to get your ass into some serious cover. And I will be doing an actual video on, on the forums. There is actually some tools, some calculation tools now for the mortars and the rocket artillery, in, enabling you to be able to actually pinpoint on the map exactly distances and ranges and things like that to make the mortars even more accurate. So as we can see, the Americans here, nicely spread out along this far wall. Got one of the Americans is injured there. The Ruskies, well, the Ruskies... They don't seem to be pushing that hard. It seems to be they're almost like dug in and waiting, unless all these Russians are actually down. Yeah, we've got one here, two, three. So these Russians really struggling by the looks of it here to even push on this compound, although over here to the south, I think this is, looks like they're actually making an offensive. Again, not hearing many mortars actually coming in at this stage. Let's get an, a little BDI on what these guys are actually doing over here, what the Russians are doing. What are they doing here? Looks like they're playing this very sneaky beaky. Quite possibly these guys are communicating with the other squad. So you attack from that side, keep them busy, and we'll flank in from this side. So let's just follow these guys and see what's actually going on down here. Who have we got here? We've got Hero! What a hero! Look at him! What a boss! Of course, the difficulty on this level for a lot of new players coming into squad is that the uniforms can look slightly similar. Uh, the more you play it, what tends to happen is at distance, this is when most of the TKs happen, is at distance. And what you'll find eventually is you just start to recognise the sound of the weapons. You'll recognise the difference between an AK and an M4 instantly. And that goes for the RPK as well. And uh, part of the, my favourite aspect of this game, the RPGs, the, we love the explosions and the audio, you will actually s start to notice the difference between the frag rounds on the RPG and the uh, heat rounds, because the heat rounds have got a definite more of a thud to them when they go off, which just sound amazing. 
everything in this game sounds fantastic, to be honest with you. Right, so these guys, looks like we've got... Uh, I thought they were going, going to go down on their belt buckles. It looks like they are not. They are moving slowly, slowly up to this wall. If I was them right now, I probably would have rushed straight up to this wall. Got the rest of the squad up here and organised from there. But let's just see what these guys are going to do. They're moving through the poppy fields. Very tactical. Look at this. Moving up as a squad, they've got the RPG at the front. Now again, a little bit of a tip here that comes from me playing Milsims over the years in armour and all sorts, America's army, when it used to be good. The medic never ever, ever is an assault class. The medic always goes at the back of the squad when the squad are moving forward. It's your job to stay at the back, keep an eye on everybody, heal them, then you can put smoke down and you get better awareness of what's actually happening on the field. And we've got some mortars coming in. Brilliant. Here we go. Looks like, did that mortar actually injure this guy? I think he was luckily behind this wall. The Rusky got away with it. We have got one who's slightly injured here. Yes, the medic goes at the back so that he can move forward. That is your role. Don't want to see the medics up front or running off away from everybody else. If you're a medic and there's a man down, run up to the guy who's down fairly close. Ask him where the threat came from so that the medic's not going to get taken out as well. And that was a nice 2 or 3 here. Just pepper-potting that top part of that wall by the looks of it, making sure there's nobody in these rooms. He's probably missed. He's going to be aiming for that little doorway in that compound there. And looks like we've got some more mortars coming in. Mortars, by the looks of it, are actually... Let's have a look if we've got any. So we've actually... You only get three rounds on the mortars, which means they've actually got two mortar tubes up at the minute. You can only have two mortars per fob. And we've got some more coming in. So these guys, really, if they could aim a little bit less on the distance, work it out a little bit better on the map, they're going to be a lot more effective at taking these guys out, especially when it comes to these guys over here. It would instantly take them all out. So let's just come down here and see what these guys are actually up to. Sounds like we've got a 50 in here. Is that a 50 cal in here? I think it is. Cannot wait for the jimpies to come in. Absolutely firing down there. And what he's firing at, I'm not sure. I think he's just actually covering it while the guys would use the sandbags here to try and block this entrance off. Mortars, again, hitting constantly at the same place. And if you see my other mortar video, you don't. You want to actually feather it a little bit with the distance so that it covers a wire area rather than all three at the same place. But hey ho, that comes from probably experience of me having a couple of friends such as Stuart, you may see me on some games with, who's actually part of, or was part of the Royal Artillery. So you get to learn interesting insights into some real military tactics. So we've got a vehicle coming into play here. Let's move up and have a look at this guy. Who have we got here? Baggy. Let's call him Baggy Banjo. He's moving up with a logistics truck, so he's going to be dropping supplies off. It's probably going to be for the mortar guys. Let's just have a look here and see where he goes. But have we got the... Uh, is this the mortar pit? Yeah, these guys are obviously running out of ammo. And has he dropped them anything off? He hasn't dropped them any supplies off, so these guys can't be doing that bad. Again, these guys look like they're blocking the walls off. It's actually not blocking the wall off. I'd wonder whether they're going to put a mortar pit up on that roof. Can do this because you're going to have to put sandbags around it to be able to protect them. And what have we got in here? We've got a 50. We've got a 50 on the roof. Let's just have a look at what sort of view they've got here. If I can sort the camera out. Let's just come down. Come on, sort it out. There we go. Not a bad view over there, but as I've mentioned, Chora is a really difficult map for uh, for sightlines. It's not easy at all on this map. Quite difficult. I mean, here would have been a better position somehow if they could build it up so that you've got an overview here of this field. Otherwise, it's just trees and you're pretty much blind firing. 
So let's come back across here up to the radio tower and have a look. It looks like we've got a right mix of people here now, Ruskies and the Americans. I don't know whether there's more Russians here. And it actually looks like the Russians have taken this. Yeah, there are a lot of Americans that are down within this compound here. As we come down a little bit too low, you can see there is a lot of Americans down in here. few Russians, you can hear them squirting the blood, putting the bandages on, so we've missed a little bit of a gunfight over here. Looks like there's some mass medicing going on over here. And of course, now the mortar crews are probably going to stop here, and it's the Russians' time to start to lock this base down now. Look at them all. Where's a mortar when you need one? Or a suicide truck? Let's have a look. We've actually got mortars going off up to the... Is that the north up there? Which is not actually doing anything, to be honest with you. So the radio tower is now on defence. The Russians have actually taken this back from the Americans. And as we look round... There are no Americans in sight whatsoever. So it looks like the Americans have absolutely been wiped out here. And the radio tower is now completely taken over by the Russians. So let's just move up here. Mortar's going off, which is way out of range. I don't know who sighted those in, but... You want to fire your squad leader if he's called in the distance on that. Terrible waste of ammo. And we've got a sole, sole little American down here. He's been left by the rest of his squad. Last man standing. But you know what? This guy wants medals and port. No, he's not British, I know, but you get the idea. Looks like he's going to be running off on his own. Let's give him a little... Come on, Dazzle, you know you want them medals. Last man standing, good lad. <laughs> he's not going to know who said that. He's lucky confused. He's got heat stroke. He's out here on his own. He's a marksman. God bless him. God bless him. So let's have a look. The radio tower is still absolutely swamped like an immigration centre down at Dover. It's absolutely swamped with foreigners down here. And they're actually getting a BTR moving up to the radio tower. So unless the Americans pull their finger out of their apple pie, they are really not going to take this back. And this, as you can see here, the Americans are so far spread out here as a unit... This is probably not the best idea. Squad by name, squad by nature. And as you can see, as we move up here to the actual other flag, there is quite a lot of Ruskies. Now, they're going to be moving over now towards the radio tower. Or possibly trying to take the area back up here from the Americans, which is the West Farm. Again, no Russians at all moving up there. So this could be a lock and load. Watch the TKs. A few TKs going in. That could be the mortars. These guys, looks like they're having a picnic down here because there's certainly no action to be had for the Russians down at this end. And to be honest, the game seems to have slowed down quite drastically after that first section. Everybody just seems to be bunkering, bunkering in now. Let's just get down here onto the ground and we'll have a look and see if we can hear what these guys are actually talking about. Anybody talking or communicating down here? How's it going, boys? Can I get a... That's better. A little bit of a medic action going on here, so let's move up and see if we can find any action going on. The game really has started to slow down a little bit. Americans moving over as a unit here below me. Cheese grater building. Many of you new players out there don't know what the cheese grater is. When you hear the name in-game, this is the cheese grater. And as we move up, we've actually got a transport. I think this is transport. Can't actually quite see. Yes, we have a transport truck, the Americans... Let's just see where they are going. Actually coming up north. I'm not quite sure what they're doing up here. Unless they're going for some sort of super flank. You dirty flankers. 
little flankers here and again not sure what they're doing up here there is way 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 too many americans up here to the north not really in a position where they're going to be able to do anything they're not on the defense marker they're way off the attack marker so let's just follow these guys further down here as it looks like there could be a little bit of a firefight coming up here the americans facing off the ruskies all up at the top there let's just come down and see what happens let's get ourselves in a mid position here looks like the russians are all on this side wall here are they moving up yes the russians are starting to move up here someone's just taking a headshot i don't know if you saw that burst of blood there now we've got rockets coming in let's get ourselves up onto the action a little bit russians are probably going to get taken out here i think there's a few more americans on this side than there is the russians nice little firefight gonna happen here as they come around this corner let's just see what happens here this guy on my right is probably gonna get a kill here with the rpg he may be too close he turns to his right. Ah, it's the squad leader down. So they know they're here. This could be an interesting fight, actually. The Americans are probably going to get taken out here. This guy with the RPG, where is he going? And Congo is about to get annihilated if he's not already down. He is actually already down. Nice 2 or 3 round there. Took that guy out. Up on the hill somewhere. But again, as we move up here, I'm not really sure what these Americans are doing up here. They're not bringing anything to the game by... What are they doing here? My God. I have never seen so many Americans shoveling before. Come on! Can I get a... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people shoveling. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. All shoveling. Whether you need that many people, they must be in a rush to get this up to fix some vehicles. Hi ho! Right. That's a lot of shoveling. So let's see where these guys now go. Again, if we bring up the map. Looks like they've actually come up here to build the fob. But again, guys, you need to be pushing up and attacking that radio tower. It has been back and forth, back and forth. And it is open. It looks like there's only really squad two up there. And the Russians are actually pushing way out here and going on the counter-offensive here. Not a bad tactic at all. What have we got down here? We've got a squad leader. We've got an, uh, an AT guy down here. And follow the medic here. Can't honestly wait for the actual British faction. There's always something nice about playing with your own country's faction. It makes you feel more low. The SA-80, not keen on it. I've used it up at Catrick in real life when I did my basic training with Fall Para. And uh, people say it's a shit rifle. Believe me, when you pull the trigger, if you're on the other end, you die. So I just don't like the look of it. I never have done like the FAMAS and things like that. And of course, we love the M4. Now, I know this video is going on a little bit. I'm not sure how much attention span you guys have got for watching any of these videos. So I should probably do a couple more minutes of this here on beautiful Chora. I've got my Sun Factor 50 on. We'll just see what's going on with this vehicle. Oh, yeah. Look, got absolutely blasting this guy. How he's even not died from splash damage is unbelievable. He's probably hitting the wall rather than the infantry. So let's just stick with this guy. Gangster. This guy's a US Marine gangster. And we've also got a squad leader here. Where the rest of your squad are, I've got no idea. Let's see what he can see. Let's just have a look here. Scanning the hills. Not a bad tactic, of course. The enemy could use a couple of rockets to take this out. Eventually, we will be getting claymores. Firing up at the infantry, and he's taking the infantry out on that hill. Not a bad position, this at all. In fact, this, with the BTR, is here. 
he's pretty much blocking all this north side off of this flag. But again, very little action going on. Let's just head back up towards the radio tower for a quick little look before we say au revoir. And we are TB. Couple of the rip guys here on the mortars. Squad leader here keeping an eye on this new recruit. And I don't know if any of you have seen the rather sad footage that was on the BBC News of the photographer who took a picture and was killed, including four infantry, when uh, a mortar actually exploded in the tube. It's on the BBC website, do a search for it. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So they're firing mortars. It should be landed over here somewhere. It looks like he's aiming over here. Not quite sure what he's aiming for there. But we should be seeing the mortars land any second now. I've got to, oh, he's, he's actually aiming here, which is a crack on shot for that. But let's head over to the radio tower before we say goodbye. And let's have a look at what's actually happening over here. Russians have got a vehicle, a BTR, over to the right. Not a lot of Yankee Dandy Doodles here at all. And most of them are down. We so we've only got the one guy, Rick. Rick down here on his lonesome. He's not really going to be that effective on his own. And some nice mortars coming in here. Of course, mortars do not distinguish friend from foe. But that is a little bit of an overview of Chora. I quite enjoy doing these, so do let me know if you get this far. I'm going to put a code word. The code word is Ginger Minge. So I know if you type Ginger Minge into the comments box, I'll know you actually made it this far, and I'll know in future this is not a bad length, death, in order to do these videos. I've been Paraplayers, and we've been here at Chora, flying around, doing a game cast. Quite enjoy these, although I do get a sore throat, but it is an excuse to drink more Yorkshire tea. I shall see you in another game cast and some more squad videos coming real soon. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays, and this has been the best team based first person shooter since Hovis Bread. If you're not from Yorkshire, you won't know what that is. Anyway, I shall say goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Come in real soon.